Hey guys, welcome to another NLP Journal Club video. Today we're looking at a paper called Reformer, the Efficient Transformer by a bunch of guys from the Google research team. And as the title suggests, this paper is focusing on the transformer architecture, which has become um, kind of the state of the art architecture in a wide range of natural language processing tasks and also has been used in other areas like images or speech, audio in general, and um, achieving state-of-the-art results in many cases. And so the authors of this paper focus on proposing a new architecture, the reformer, which is trying to make the basic, the base transformer architecture more efficient, and particularly targeting one aspect of the transformer that is quite computationally intensive, the attention used in the huge number of attention, self-attention and encoder-decoder attention layers in the, in the architecture. So the complexity of the normal attention is O of L squared, where L is the length of the sequences that you want to model, um, for example, 1000 or 10,000. And the authors propose some um, modifications of this attention that reduces the complexity to O of egg log L, L log, log L, um, so making, making this attention and the architecture much more, um, much faster and much more practically usable on very long sequences that are, um, for example, can occur when modeling very, very long documents, let's say for document summarization or something like that. So this is kind of one of their major contributions of this paper, uh, maybe the main one, uh, the most interesting for me, perhaps. So um, they introduced this and the, the new architecture, the reformer is much more memory efficient and much faster on long with longer sequences, in particular, in comparison to the st standard transformer architecture, which is great, right? And here I have the contributions listed. So the attention modification that I said is actually based on locality sensitive hashing. And um, they also have some two other um, contributions which are further helping out um, in reducing the memory um, footprint of those models. So one is to use reversible layers which basically reduce, reduces the need to store many copies of activations within the model. Um, and the other one is splitting activations inside the feedforward layers that are part of this self-attention uh, mechanism used in this transformer. Processing them in chunks such that you, I think basically you reduce the need to store all of them at the same time, but you can kind of split the computation a little bit in this way, reducing the overall memory footprint of your architecture. Um, and by the way, this is um, this is good because so those those models can get very very huge in some cases. Like in some papers, you have 0 0.5 billion parameters per used per layer, um, which is a lot considering you can have 24 layers or more. And um, in some papers, you can have 64 layers or more. So this, the memory footprint of those models blows up crazily. And in particular, if you are a researcher, let's say in uh, academia or so, you, don't, you may not have access to hardware that could even run those models, even in inference mode. So it would be great to make, th make those architectures more efficient. Um, it would also make them usable um, in general um, and faster and make them uh, more practical for a wide range of applications. So these are the th three contributions and they actually um, investigate how those impact the performance of versus the standard transformer model on a bunch of tasks. They have a synthetic task, a text task, which is language modeling, I think. 
uh, with sequence lengths up to up to 64k which is very very large actually and they also have a image image generation task where you have sequence lengths of 12k and they show that the reformer model um, matches the results of the normal transformer but runs much faster especially on text with orders of magnitude better memory efficiency and jumping into the main contributions in particular i'm going to focus on the attention um, so as i said the standard um, attention requires o of l squared where uh, where um, l is the length of the sequence the maximum length of the uh, sequences you want to model let's say 1000 you actually have to specify this sequence length um, as a hyperparameter in your architecture and um, so they, they use some uh, locality sensitive hashing to approximate this and here we have an illustration uh, of how this works so you have your sequence of length l let's say here it's 20 or whatever and basically what they're doing in this paper is normally you have to compute some uh, comparison of each sequence length to each other sequence length so this one to that one this one to that one this one to that one and so on and so forth l squared but they actually use locality sensitive hashing to bucket those computations such that maybe some maybe some of those computations are not very useful they're kind of a little bit redundant down the line they're not going to be contributing so much to the final result of the attention so what they're doing is this they're using this uh, lsh to bucket those computations in terms of computations that will be most relevant so they chunk those here in, in like four chunks and then they compute the attention only within the elements in those chunks so for example attending this element to that one um, this one to that one and so on and so forth I will not go into details here you can read in the paper but that's basically what they do and they're able to reduce in this way the total number of comparisons to L log L so this is great because yeah, in particular for long sequences this you can see how this could this would easily blow up this is kind of the main main thing so i'll not go into details into this lsh attention implementation you can check out in the paper but this is the most important point they they reduce the computation and they have some masking as well so that they don't have to compute the, all the comparisons and basically they on the tasks um, they show that the reformer can achieve comparable very close results to the standard transformer which is great and here for example we have the translation task WMT English to German and with uh, this one is the like a variant of this reformer model you can get similar results as the model reported in the Vaswani paper which introduced the transformer architecture and um, yeah with the big models here you can see big train for 300,000 steps you can match um, the result of those big transformer models reported for example in this paper from 2018 so great great stuff and um, yeah I think this is basically what I wanted to cover um, there's a lot more analysis and um, obviously a lot more details of this locality sensitive hashing attention I will not um, go into, into details here please check out the paper if you're interested and that will be all for today um, thanks for watching and subscribe for some more NLP videos thanks